Yo, what's going on, Movie Nation? It's Just Jess here. Hope you're having a good day. And today, if you saw my other videos, there were haunted houses. But now I'm actually gonna transition to movies. I usually do this on Snapchat, but then I think I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try this on YouTube. I go see a lot of movies, and the reason why it's called Just Jess is because I go alone, and right now I love that, you know, it's my own time. We're gonna go see The World to Come, dramatic movie at AMC Schomburg 24. I am located in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago. I don't know why this movie is not playing anywhere else. For some reason, it's only playing in like three theaters, Yorktown and AMC River East 21. All right guys, it is Valentine's Day weekend. I have no day, unfortunately, but I'm gonna be doing a little vlog style, like going into the theater, showing you how it looks like with the mask, sanitation. And if you guys like this video, it would mean the world to me if you like and subscribe to my channel because this will be the first video of many, you know? So I'll keep you guys updated. Without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, this is the parking lot, AMC. Honestly, like two degrees, all right? Oh, here we go, here we go, oh. sorry. Kind of beat that out. Here we go, AMC Thetis. AMC, see my reflection in the mirror. Look at that, look at that. All right, cool, number two, let's go. Guys, here we go, movie Thetis. Look at that, all right, let's go. Make sure we wash our hands later. Damn, look at that beautiful movie theater, guys. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. Ooh. All right, guys, so we made it. See, look, they got sanitation wipes, the bathroom. Let's go. They got another one right there. All right, Movie Nation, back to the review passes. Obviously, we're back in my room. Unfortunately, I don't have a house yet, but hopefully soon we'll get there in time, right? All right, so what did I think about the movie? World to Come, AMC, Schaumburg, 24, Chicago, Illinois, Northwest Suburbs, that's right. But I still went to AMC, and AMC, if you're watching this, just know that I am a AMC Stub Loves A-List member, so love you guys, you guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, by the way, World to Come, as soon as you walk in, sanitation wipes, I felt really safe. You can use the sanitation wipes on the door, but there was so many sanitation wipes, as you can see. A World to Come, all right, so basis of the premise of the story is 1800s, the whole year, Vanessa and Catherine play Tally and Abigail respectively, and Christopher and Casey play Finney and Dyer. Now they're both couples, they're both married, they're born both neighbors, and they both live a little bit separate. You know, in the 1800s, they used to use, um, they didn't have phones, they used horses, which is, you know, if you're watching this now, you're like, wow, like, how can we ever, like, you know, think about it? But anyway, the movie's broken up with, like, I wanna say, Ignites or Segmas. It tells you what day and what's going to happen that day. The main character, Abigail, is really cool. The way she tells the story or the movie is in like a first-person perspective, right? She, it, It's like a reading a book. Instead of the book, you're, she's like reading the things to you. And I just found that really cool. Now, one thing first before I tell you guys anything, it is a slow-burning movie. It's like Red Dead Redemption 2. If you didn't like it or hated it, you know, that's it. Because it split the audience 50-50. This movie is slow. There's barely any action, but there's a lot of emotional action. And that's makes sense you know because you see the dynamic of tally and abigail go from their husbands to seeing each other and how that affects them and their own relationships there's there's more a lot of dialogue and it's more dramatic than more action impacted some of the scenes or some of the earlier scenes i don't know if the camera was shot with like a film grainage in mind to capture like the 1800s vibe but that's what i got like i just i mean yeah it was a good camera but don't i didn't think it was like crisp clear you know it's really dark I'm just like, oh, like, it's supposed to be like, like that, like lighting, you know, like, yes, they didn't have like electricity back then. And they also go take it a step further, you know, intimacy, rejection, jealousy, and it all ties into what they're feeling towards each other. Now, it shows you how much willing they had to go through just to get to be with each other. And it's funny because they don't even get a lot of time together. Once the movie starts ramping up to like the best climax, it's over. And I wish I would have got more. This is my first official review. So um, there's a lot to improve. And um, all right, guys, that's going to be everything for me today. Hope you have a great day and let me know what you guys think. I'll be doing more reviews in the future and they'll be way better than this. I know today I just put this together, but uh, yes.